So hi there, Aquarius. Welcome to your quick career reading. Let's dive into the energy surrounding your great skills, your gifts, and your talents. So what is your great skill, gift, or talent? According to the Queen of Swords, this suggests that your great skill lies in your sharp intellect and effective communication. So for example, you may excel in roles that require precise analysis like um, a strategic planner or consultant, providing insightful perspectives. Clarified by the tower, this suggests that your gift of sharp intellect is very, very, very strong in times or during the times when there is great change or upheaval. So for example, you may have the ability to guide a team through major restructuring, offering them clear and decisive advice and insights that will help them to move through these challenging situations that they're going through. So what's your great vocational skill overall, that gift or that talent? The death card tells me and indicates a very powerful vocational skill in transformation and rebirth. You possess the talent to initiate and lead significant changes within your professional sphere, which of course, no surprise here with the death card, brings growth and renewal. So perhaps you might thrive in roles focused on organizational change or innovation, and I'm going to get into some of those roles in a little bit. But clarified by the Ten of Swords, it tells me that your talent for transformation shines brightest when you're dealing with the completion of cycles and embracing new beginnings. So you're wrapping things up and starting something new. Perhaps um, might an example might be your success in leading a team through, say, the closure of outdated projects making room for innovative initiatives. Some of the roles I see for you that you might be actively participating in or you will participate in, or they could just be hobbies. As I mentioned before, strategic planning, I see consulting, maybe being an IT professional, a life coach, a health coach, any profession that deals with transformative changes or transformation and changes. Even the fitness industry, right? You could be a trainer, I see that you could be a creative entrepreneur. So for example, you're creating original artwork, maybe sculptures, paintings, whatever the case may be, and selling them on a marketplace or through a platform, either online or in person. You could be a project manager. You could be director of innovation. You could be a real estate professional. You could be some kind of change management specialist. And by that, I mean public relations or a fixer, as they like to call it, right? And I also see you could be into strategic consultant or be a strategic planner or consultant. So what advice does spirit have for you with the Four of Cups and the Knight of Wands? Clearly, spirit is encouraging you to stay open to new opportunities and possibilities that are presented to you, especially those that you do not see. Things that could be waiting right around the corner to be discovered. So for example, you should consider exploring new projects or collaborations that initially might seem unexciting to you because, you know, underneath there's hidden potential. I also see the King of Wands. It's further clarifying that This advice for you is kind of rooted in passion and creativity. So embrace your passion and your creativity. You need to stay open to new opportunities that might involve perhaps channeling your creative energy into projects that align with your own aspirations and your values. For example, start a passion project, right? Or take a leadership role in a creative endeavor that might initially seem kind of blah to you. Maybe you can spice it up with your own special pizzazz. So that is really what I'm seeing for you in this quick kind of career skills reading, Aquarius. I want to thank you for joining me and may your journey be full of intellectual clarity, transformative growth, and the passionate pursuit of your aspirations.